Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from the Black Business School and YourBlackWorld.net. And I was um, <laughs> I, I I'm in LA right now. I'm in LA because um, we're finishing up um, the uh, pilot for Steel Justice, the show about a black attorney that I told you guys about um, that we're shooting. Um, also, I just left Texas, uh, the Texas leg of the Black Economic Empowerment Tour. We went to Dallas, Austin, and Houston. It was awesome. Uh, thank you for those of you who came out. Next is Las Vegas and New York City. I'm waiting for my team to get back to me about venues for some of the other cities. So um, I, I know I think we're going to slide Denver in there because um, I want to go to Denver anyway. So might as well, might as well do some work while we're there. Um, now, what I want to uh, talk to you guys about is uh, I, I saw that we had this video put up on our channel today. And it was by Chanel Walker, Madam President, a.k.a. Madam President, and their production team. Um, and the video, it says reasons why you should quit your job and start your own business. And uh, and I was looking at the comments. I don't really look at a lot of comments um, on stuff on my channel. I don't you know, I'm usually too, kind of busy. Um you know, running my own business, and uh, and and I was, I, but I was reading the comments, and I was really flabbergasted by some of what I saw. Um, you know, I, I I'll tell you, black people are extraordinary. We are extraordinary people, uh, whether it's you know good or bad. Um, we are extraordinarily good in some situations at finding a problem for every solution. Uh, we are extraordinarily good at believing that. We are incapable of taking care of ourselves. Uh, we're extraordinarily good at finding reasons that you can't survive without the fucking white man. Excuse my French. I didn't mean to cuss. I cussed. I keep telling myself I'm not going to do that. But just so you know, when I get mad, it just it just comes out. It bothers me. It really bothers me. It bothers me that there are black people who literally are absolutely committed to this idea that you are that you need the white man in order to get by. This ain't no disrespect to the white man, but the white man's not sitting around saying, oh, I need black people in order to survive. If I, without black people, I'll never make it. I'll never be able to feed my family. And I, I'm looking at the comments and I'm seeing, you know, comments. You know, again, I'm not dissing the people here. I'm just looking at this and I see somebody says, I bet I bet none of them quit their jobs yet. I now I am self-employed. Well, actually, most of the people in the video are self-employed. It's Madam President Productions, and so they work together and they do this kind of stuff. Um, and, and even if you're not there yet, you're still on your way. You're still thinking that way, which I think is important. I see another comment that says, first you tell black people not to go to school. Now you're telling black people to quit their job. Oh, Lord. Thanks to People Scholar. So let me say this to Gregory, to Gregory Williams. Um, brother, you obviously have clearly misinterpreted my message. I never said black people should not go to school. I've said that you should be highly educated. If you know one of the Ten Commandments of Black Economic Empowerment is to educate the hell out of yourself for the rest of your life. Not in those words, but education is critical. Lifelong learning is critical. But understand that going to school is not the same as being educated. Going to a $200,000 or $100,000 university does not get you, always get you what you want. And that's the problem. We got a whole lot of people that are 100000 in debt because they went to school. They went to college. They thought, oh, if I get this piece of paper from some white university, then I'm going to be good. Somebody, some white other white person is going to give me a job. And do you know what? A lot of those people who spent all that money are now selling shoes. They're working in Arby's. They're doing they're driving Ubers or whatever because they couldn't apply their degree. They didn't get that opportunity. So what I have said is that. Going to a building does not mean you're going to school. It doesn't mean you're actually being educated. And at the end of the day, you want to have education that is relevant to you achieving the goal that you want to achieve. So the number one thing, the number one thing that every black child in America should do, every young black person in America should do is start your education with entrepreneurship. You start off learning how to run a business. It takes less effort to learn how to start a company than it does to spend 40 years slaving for the white man in a job that you hate. That's what I'm saying. So please don't misinterpret my words. Stop misquoting me. I don't I don't tell black people not to go to school. That's what young thug does. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what some ignorant rapper might tell you to do to be ignorant, and be proud of it. No, I've, I've never endorsed ignorance. So let's make sure we're clear about that. Um, now, as far as telling people to quit their job, I want to make sure you understand. I'm not saying quit your job and just be homeless. I'm saying that at some point, if you don't like your job, why in the hell do you go there every day? If you're not happy with your life, why are you so dedicated to maintaining that life? 
I, it, seriously, I mean, you will see people, you'll see black people that will spend so much energy serving the white man and then sit around all day and complain about the white man that they, they serve him. Well, why are you empowering your master and getting mad at your, about your master at the same time? You're creating that life that you live in. The life that you live is yours. You built that life. You built that. So why do you keep building the thing that you hate the most? Why do you keep giving the gun to your oppressor and then get mad because he shot you in the toe? Seriously. I see another comment that's so interesting. I mean, so, there's so many people that will find a problem for every solution. Somebody said, <laughs> he said, if you follow their plan and, and just quit it, just up and quit your job, you're going to end up in a homeless shelter. That's not true. I quit my job. I'm not homeless. Uh, that you can make money. There are easier ways to make money than, than serving somebody else and doing a job that you hate. Um, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm just looking at this and I'm just laughing. I mean, you know, not, not that all the comments are, um, um, you know, not that all the comments are bad. Some of them are encouraging. Some of them are optimistic. But one of the things I think that's really interesting about us as black people is that we are very, very deeply committed um, to our oppression. You know, we're deeply committed to white supremacy. We're deeply committed to this idea that somehow we can't survive without white people taking care of us. And, um, you know, I, I can't make you change that mindset. I mean, if that's what you're determined to believe about yourself, then, you know, so be it. But <clears throat> I, don't, I, I, ain't, I ain't living that life. I'm not going I'm not I'm not going to ever go through life and somehow believe that I need white people's approval or white people to do do things for me or corporations even to do things for me in order for me to get by. There are ways to make your own money. And the, at the end of the day. Uh, as I said, it takes less effort to learn how to start a business than it takes to go to some job you hate for, you know, spend 100,000 hours. You, literally, you'll spend 100,000 hours on the corporate plantation doing just nonsense because you're too scared to go out and take care of yourself. That's it. So think about that. Imagine if you put 100,000 hours into something else, 100,000 hours studying how to be an entrepreneur. You really think even 1,000 hours, if you spend 1,000 hours studying how to start a business, 1,000 out of 100,000, if you spend 1,000 hours studying entrepreneurship and getting better at it, don't you think you'd actually be able to figure out how to do it? I mean, every task they give you on that job, you learn how to do that and you get real good at it. You get real good at serving other people. You get real good at being a slave. Why not get good at being free? It takes just as much energy, less energy, actually, to learn how to be free than it takes to dedicate yourself to being a slave. So and when I talk about slaves, I'm, I'm not talking about people who are unpaid. I'm talking about people who do things they don't want to do. When you don't have freedom, you're a slave. That's what slavery is, a lack of freedom, period. So <clears throat> anyway, I just had to make that clarification point. I'm not dissing anybody who um, did, who does not agree. Uh, if you like your job and you, you want to stay on it, then please continue. But, um, you know, black people, we got to believe in our possibilities and stop, you know, stop focusing on our limitations. I just can't stand it. I swear. I mean, if you want to ever know the easiest way to get me to just smack you in public, it's for you to come and tell me all the reasons why black people can't do certain things, why we can't start businesses, why we can't own things, why we can't accomplish things. I don't want to hear all that. I don't want to hear all that. You don't get anywhere in life when you find reasons why you can't succeed. It takes just as much energy to figure out why you can't do something as it does to figure out why you can do something. People have overcome worse obstacles in their life. So don't give up on yourself. Don't 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 look at your people so pathetically. I mean, that's. Good Lord, it's scary. Um, anyway, guys, I'm about to get on out of here. I um, um we're shooting Steel Just Steel Justice tomorrow, and then as I said, the next legs on the tour are Las Vegas and um, New York City. So you can go to the Dr. Boyce Watkins Tour.com. That's the Dr. Boyce Watkins Tour.com. Also, the next Black Wealth Bootcamp starts on June 4th. So you can go to the Black Wealth Bootcamp.com uh, to find out more. That's the Black Wealth Bootcamp.com. So take care, guys. Talk to you soon. I'm about to go to bed. I'm really tired. I've been running all day. So anyway, talk to you later. Peace.